going on guys welcome back to the channel i'm john rone so today it looks nice out here and it looks pretty and warm but it's not it is freaking cold the winds are up hopefully the microphone the road mic up there on my new m50 is doing well we got some new cameras in we got some new equipment and we've been getting questions from you guys about what do we film with when we're out on the water or when we're hunting so i figured what a better time to show you guys what i use for my filming and that's what we're going to do today I'm stuck inside i'm not stuck inside but i'd rather be inside and we're going to go over our camera gear with you guys and as usual don't forget to hit that thumbs up button for us down there it really makes a difference and we appreciate it so today i'm going to go over my two main cameras this one the one i'm filming on the m50 which is brand new and then this one which is my GoPro, go-to camera. I've been using it in all my videos. You guys have seen it. That's what we're gonna go over today. And all the accessories and fun things we use, plus a couple extra cameras that I use throughout the year on different things. Hello, Nico. Say hi to everybody. Everybody, Nico. Nico, everybody. What are you gonna say yourself? Huh? Yep. <laughs> So guys, <clears throat> all right, first thing we're gonna start with is my trusty standard GoPros. Um, everybody, most of my footage y'all have seen on this channel, I'm using the GoPros. GoPro 7 Black is what I use. And the reason I stayed with the 7 Black is I'm comfortable with the format, the picture quality is great. And the big thing up until now with the new 9, the batteries are interchangeable and I can have a lot of extra batteries which I'll keep with me. Usually I'll keep eight to 10 batteries with me for a day or two of fishing which I can charge at night. So, uh, but you go through these really quick and I get these Telsons, these Telson batteries from Amazon and then I also have some GoPro um, batteries as well. But you can't have too many batteries. But again, I got the two GoPros here. I'll mount one on the Joby mount. I have it off right now because I am using that with this camera as well that I'm filming on the M. And the cool thing about this mount is the adjustable head on it. So you can adjust the top, right? And get a really good shot and swivel of where you want that to be. This is the um, mount that I use mainly for the GoPro when I'm on the boat and even out and about carrying it and just vlogging with it. So just being out here, uh, this is the Jaws mount. You can get them on Amazon, eBay, wherever you want. Uh, you can also take links out of them to make them shorter or longer. And then the big thing with the GoPros is sounds. So when you're out in the wind, you wanna have a, a microphone uh, that you can put onto this GoPro. We're usually fishing in windy conditions and that that uh, is super important as far as um, managing your wind and stuff that's coming in and out of the, uh, the microphone. Sound is key. Now for the GoPros, you have to have this universal adapter, which is right in there. You can see it. Um, that piece comes, I think it's like $65 from GoPro, and it fits in here. You plug it into the side of the camera, and you're good to go with your audio port on the outside, and the camera fits in just like any other camera. The only uh, disadvantage to that is you do have to take off this side panel. Let's see if I can show it to you. You take off the side panel, right? Which exposes that to water and whatnot. So I'm not sure the new designs of how that changes, but. The next camera is going to be my Tacticam. So I do want to throw this in there because the Tacticam is a live action shot. So basically it gets you first person view, whatever you see, it sees. And it is a point shoot and go. Great battery life. Um, you can put that on, you can see it's set up for a scope right now. Scope mount, we were pig hunting. You can put a uh, bow mount on this, but it's a great waterproof camera that you can kind of set and forget with audio feedback and vibration feedback when you have it on. So that's a cool camera as well. If you guys want to look to invest that, it's very hardy, just like uh, the GoPros. But I use that exclusively pretty much for my hunting stuff. All right, my other camera, and again, I use this mainly for hunting is gonna be my Canon. You can see how dirty it is from hunting. This is the Canon G21. It's got the audio road on top, the road microphone. Um, it opens up and you can see I have the LCD screen there, larger SD format cards. And the thing's got good, it, it's, it has good picture. Uh, it's a sturdy camera, it's durable. Uh, I can mount it on my tripod 
for the tree stand and the thing is fantastic. Obviously I keep multiple batteries with that around as well. So we keep the extra batteries on a charger. Guys, that brings me to a good point. Batteries, 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 batteries. I can't say it enough. That is one of the most important part of your whole arsenal of gear. If you don't have any batteries, you don't have any juice, you're gonna have no footage. So make sure you guys have plenty of batteries for all your cameras. Learn how long each one of them lasts and have extras. Like this Canon M50, I probably only need two batteries. My GoPros, I probably need 10 for the day. And I just know that. So while we're talking about this also, I have to digress and check out my new cichlid tank behind me. We put some driftwood in there. We upgraded that bad boy. And you've seen the saltwater tank down below as well. You know, I love my fish. So, batteries guys, batteries. Accessories, I already showed you the little, I already showed you the little microphone, right? So we got the little microphone and that's this one right here, the ETM-001. These are available on uh, Amazon. I know this is a omnidirectional microphone, meaning it's, it's recording all the way around. Right, so I put that on the GoPro so it can pick up all the sound. If I wanted to go with the GoPro with more of a directional mic, I'd take this one here and I'd put this on top of the GoPro, right? So that I'd have a directional mic. That's my favorite microphone as far as a small microphone. I've got the Rode video mic here on the M50 like you can see here. All right, so that's gonna be the mic that I'm using on top of this camera, which I'll show you in just a second. Uh, but good mics, the Rode's well known for those. And then let's see. Extra batteries again for the Canon M50 and on your M50 if you're filming outside or any cam and DSLR you know variable ND filters are huge so the variable ND filter you can modify on this one and change how much light it's led through from I think I believe a four stop up to a 200 stop almost black so depending on the light you have it's going to change and modify you can see how kind of it's kind of like a polarized polarized lenses all right, not sure why it's not focusing. There you go, see? And then you can adjust the light on this. So I went with the Earth um, circular lens filter. Um, very good price point for what you get out of the reviews I've seen. So I'll put the link down on the bottom on that as well. All right, and then the camera that we just got that I'm using right here is gonna be your EOS M50. So I have to go to the GoPro to show you that one. All right, guys, so we're gonna switch over to the GoPro here and look at my Canon M50 here, and you can see the complete setup right there. Uh, I'm excited about this camera. Um, the one thing I do have already installed, let me get around here and just change the light really quick. Um, you can tell with the GoPro, the lighting is different. You have to move a little bit, but I do have this uh, light on the top. This is a VGM. I got it from Amazon. I went through a couple of these. This one I like because you can see it's got the power dial on the top, which is controllable, which will control the luminescence. And then the right dial controls my, my tint, yellow to white, and then my uh, brightness on the left and then you switch it off. So pretty cool little light there. It's very seems to be very durable. It's been in and out of the water. It's 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 pretty good. Link below down to that. And then it's got the shoes on each side that I can attach um, accessories to, just like you see the Rode mic there on the side, the Rode mic go. So camera is very light. It's accessible. It's a good little camera. One of the coolest features that I do like on this camera for the price point is the screen in the back is adjustable. So you can manipulate it, bring it out. You can see here, I film you, you film me. Here we go. And you can watch yourself vlog. The hardest part is not looking at the screen and looking at the camera, but it's a very light. You can see the size of that thing compared to my hand. It's compact. You can put your accessories on it and hopefully the quality is amazing. There we go. That's the M50 uh, in the same light, same exact scenario without the ND filter on it. Get a little of that blurry background back there and that's what I wanted to kind of go for. I got a little blurry background, a real crisp picture on the front side here. You can see my face, see the details and I'm hoping it shows up a lot better and the sound quality is a little bit better with the bigger microphone. We'll see. So far, I really enjoy this M50. It's pretty easy. Cause in here, I'll throw, I'll throw the ND filter on there and you guys can see that as well. Here we go. All right, so there's the ND filter. I don't know if you can see the difference, but here I'm gonna adjust this. And look, you can see it adjusts the light stop to let in a lot of light. Or I can tone it down. If it's too bright, I'll be like, all right, I'll do a little of that. How about that? That looks fantastic right there, right? A little more light, I don't know. I'm a rookie at this, guys. Just wanna show the equipment and that I have fun with it, and that's the key. Hey, what works for the normal guy? 
And another thing, guys, don't forget that you can always just grab your iPhone, smartphone, or whatever, and record. Get something on video so you can go into your post-production, come back home and make a video of something cool that you find interesting. All right, so that's gonna do it for this video on my camera equipment, the stuff that I use day in and day out, out there on the boat, in the woods, just running around with the kids, having fun. Obviously it's a lot of stuff, you don't need all this stuff, but I wanted to share with you because I do get questions on it, and now, now you know. Now you know what goes on behind the scenes. I hope you enjoyed the video, hope it helped. If you have any questions, and by all means, of course, leave comments down below, any questions you might have, or just, hey, what do you guys use out there? What do you like for your camera gear? Let me know. And by the way, guys, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, we still have 80% of you who watch our videos that are not subscribed. Hit that little subscribe button down there. I got the cat eating at my foot down here doing something crazy.